I've come over to Kemp Sales to find out about some of the latest technology and what is possibly the most important part of your sailing boat, I guess. Rob, you guys make sails, repair sails and so on. Latest technology, it's, it's an industry that I'm guessing is changing all the time. It's constantly moving. I mean, a, a lot of what we use in the cruising market filters down from the race market. Um, the AC45s, for example, their code zeros have slowly becoming popular in, in the cruising boats that you see out on the water every weekend. So when you guys are making sails, you know, the, the actual technology and the materials you're using, are you always experimenting, trying out uh, different ways you can increase the performance? I think a combination of, of two, really. I mean, if you go back to sort of Nelson's day, some of the tools that we use then, we still use now. Really? Mi yeah, really, mixed with modern laser cutting, robotic cutting systems. So there is a blend between sort of art and science that, that you would like to see in our kind of industry. Fantastic. So that you're here at the show to obviously speak to a lot of your customers and new customers and potential customers. What, what do people worry about their sales? What, what are they coming to talk to you about? Uh, I think the, the main thing for cruising people is how long they're going to last. You know, they get, Rob, how long is the sale going to last me? And most of them want 10, 12, 13 years out of a sale, which is kind of a long time in the environment that it's in. And so, so then people, I guess, if they're going to upgrade, they want to find out what the options are. You mentioned Code Zero. So are people going for bigger sales then? I think a lot of the boats that you see, like the new Hanses, for example, they're having big main sails with very small head sails. Uh, upwind, they're, they're quite underpowered when the, when the breeze dies. So they're then a lot of the customers are adding larger head sails that are on self furling systems. Okay, and in terms of uh, repairs and so on, I'm guessing people come to you and cry that they've they've damaged the sail, but you guys put them right. Yeah, for us, it's that stitch in time thing. You know, we want people bringing things in in September, October, so we can service them, fix them, and make sure they're lasting the season. In current economics, a lot of people are holding on a little bit, so then they get that catastrophic bang, which they don't want to hear in the middle of their season, which is not great. And I guess you guys, you guys give advice on how to look after the sales, maintain them, so they do reach that 10-year life. Yeah, we try to. The big thing's buying right in the first place. If you get a decent material, that, that is appropriate to the type of sail you're going to use, the sail will last. If you buy a, you know, maybe a cheaper material that isn't quite right, then the sail will fail early. It's actually quite, a, it sounds silly, but it's a tricky subject, isn't it? When there's, there's so many variables. Uh, I feel really sorry for customers when they're buying a sail. It's a nightmare. And if you go and buy a, a GPS or you go and buy a new washing machine, you look at all the different white boxes and pick one and walk out the store with it. it it's not the same when you're buying a sail. You're buying something, as our well, name says, it's a bespoke product. It comes down to the customer talking to us, being honest about what they use the boat for, how they sail, and then we'll give them the best advice we can to, to give them the correct sail. Well, so you, you've got a lot of talking to do over the next nine days, so um, good luck with that. Thanks and uh, the stand looks great, so I hope you're busy all the show. Thanks very much. Nice to talk to you. Take care.